Hi, everyone. Welcome to RSN Factory. Our company specializes in the production of fused cast ACS blocks. Today, we are going to visit our assembly workshop with you. This is our assembly workshop. Okay, we can see here a glass furnace. It's called an fire furnace. This was ordered by one of our Pakistani customers. The weight of the furnace is about 300 tons. And the daily production of liquid glass can reach 130 tons. Then let's take a look at this glass furnace together. Start here. First of all, these are two ports. We all know that the port is an important part of the melting unit. It can ensure that the fuel and air are well mixed and probably a good basis for the subsequent combustion process. The fuse cast AGS-33 blocks we used for the port are so used. We can see in front of the port is your generator connection. Generally speaking, fuse cast AGS-33 blocks are also used. Okay, next up is the port neck. The port neck is the key place where the fuel and air are mixed. Fuse cast AZS-33 blocks are used here. In actual glass production, the design and structure of the port neck will be adapted to the specific type of furnace and production process, but we must ensure that the flame is stable and controllable. Instantly move to the next one, the dog house. The main function of the dog house is to feed raw materials into the furnace for melting. That's the doghouse arch over there. It supports and protects the furnace structure around the doghouse. Follow my steps to see the next one. This is the doghouse corner. Generally speaking, fuse cax AZS-41 blocks are used here. The corner is a curved part of the material transportation, and is susceptible to friction and wear over a long period of time. So the corner refractory blocks need to have good abrasion resistance. Now we are inside this furnace. This glass furnace is about 60 square meters and 11 meters long and 5.8 meters wide and has a melt rate of about 2.5 tons per day. The paving blocks of the glass furnace are fused cast AZS-33 blocks because of its high hardness and good wear resistance. It can withstand the erosion and wear in the glass furnace. The glass furnace is surrounded by side walls. Fuse cast AZS-36 blocks are used here. The side walls are in direct contact with the glass liquid and ensure a stable and uniform distribution of the glass liquid inside the furnace. Considering the high temperatures, erosion and abrasion, fuse cast AZS blocks are best choice. Here you see the area of the bubbling block in a glass furnace. Here, high temperature glass liquids are blown under specific process conditions to achieve uniform mixing and efficient. Clarification by means of bubbling technology. This is the part of the wheel. The wheel is an important part of the glass furnace. The fuse cast AZS-41 blocks are used here. It usually sit between the melting and clarification zones to separate and regulate the flow of the liquid glass, as well as to support and stabilize the glass processing area. Let's take a look at what's out there next. See there are tungstens. Tungstens are the foundation of the glass furnace superstructure, providing solid support for the furnace. Fused cast AZS-33 block has excellent refractory and insulating properties. It ensures the efficient and stable operation of the glass furnace. After learning tungsten, let's take a look at other ones. This is the front wall. The front wall of a glass furnace is the front end wall of the flame space in the mounting section of the furnace. Generally speaking, we use fuse cast AZS-33 blocks. The front wall is one of the parts of the glass furnace that is susceptible to erosion and damage. Therefore, it is important that it be inspected, maintained, and serviced on a regular basis. The front wall ends here. Let's go to the next place. Next, we will see the breast wall. As you can see, here we use fuse cast AZS-33 blocks. We all know that the breast wall and other parts of the furnace 
together constitute the flame space of the glass furnace. This space is the key area for fuel combustion, heat transfer, and glass melting. In addition, the superstructure includes some auxiliary facilities, peep holes. It is also fused cast ACS 33 blocks. The peep holes can monitor and adjust the operating status of the furnace. After introducing this one to you, let's go and see the front. This is the front. The front is an important passage for the melted, clarified and homogenized glass liquid in the glass furnace to flow into the distribution channel and supply channel. During this process, the glass liquid is further homogenized and cooled. Due to the harsh working environment, the choice of material for the fraud is crucial. So, the fraud is made of materials with good erosion resistance, such as fuse cast AGS blocks. Moving on to the feeder section. The fetal entrance is the bridge between the melting bath and the molding machine. By adjusting the shape, size, and cooling method of the fetal entrance, it is possible to ensure that the glass liquid is transported at a constant flow rate and at the right temperature. Fused cast AGS blocks are one of the most widely used channel materials today. These are the distribution channels. The distributor channel is a key part of the glass furnace that connects the melting bath to the molding equipment, and its smooth operation is critical to improving glass production efficiency. Problems such as clogging or poor glass flow in the distributor channel can lead to interruptions in production and loss of product quality. Well, today's introduction will be here for the time being. Our company specializes in the production of fused cast AGS blocks. If you have any needs, please contact us if you are interested in our factory. We also welcome you to visit us at any time. That's the end of today's video. See you next time.